Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great Taco Tuesday. Hope everything's going well for you. Um, just want to have a little conversation. We're kind of in the lull before, you know, the storm starts this weekend. We've got the Indianapolis Colts having um, some of the worst clock management issues of all time. Jeff Saturday looked like an offensive lineman coaching a football game as a new coach because that was just terrible. Watching Matty Ice, Matty Old Ice, he looks old, old, old. He was good for about one series in there, but, he, you know, he's one step in the retirement home situation. And I dare say he may want to have his uh, life insurance up to date going into this game because I, it might not be pretty. It might not be pretty at all. Um Say it isn't so. Say it isn't so that the Dallas Cowboys, since Dak Prescott has come back, are the number one, numero uno, scoring offense in the NFL, averaging 33.8 points per game. Per game! Which is freaking insane. And I'm curious because it used to be that we were told that without Amari Cooper... Dak Prescott's going to suck. That the Dallas Cowboys, it's all the weapons. That, you know, all Dak has to do is show up, and he's going to be great. You can't literally look at the Cowboys offense and say, yeah, he's got like Tariq Hill or, or uh, you know, Kelsic or Kittle or guys like that. You can't say he's got a Justin Jefferson or um, a Diggs out there. He's got a C.D. Lamb. And then he's got Noah Brown and a CD, excuse me, a, a Michael Gallup coming off of an ACL. So I'm curious. I'm curious. The Dak haters out there, Dak, right now, since he's come back, four and one. Four and one. And I tell you who's probably happier than anybody else that Dak is back. And that would be CeeDee Lamb. CeeDee Lamb, who is trying to get paid, is definitely improved under Dak versus Cooper Rush. For example, here's what the numbers were for CeeDee Lamb without Dak, Cooper Rush. 49 targets, 31 receptions, 380 yards, 2 TDs. Here we have now with Dak, 44 targets. Okay, so five less. Same amount of receptions, 31. But 448 yards per reception. Two yards more per, more per reception and one more TD. Clearly, there's a difference between Dak Prescott and Cooper Rush. I know that some of you out there... Don't want to hear that, but it's true. There is a difference between the two of them. And the offense has went from 22.6 points a game to 33, 11 more points a game. And in fact, I, I couldn't believe it today because uh, my butt buddy shared with me on Facebook top offenses in the NFL. Greg Evans, that is. Um, let me pull the clip here. Let's see. Hang on for one second. Boom. Let's get this on over here. Best offense. Boom. So they've got the Dallas Cowboys with Pat Mahomes. And the Eagles and the Miami Dolphins say it isn't so. Say it isn't so. Wow. That's some crazy stuff right there. Now, here's an interesting thing. Um, I'm going to dig a little bit deeper here 
because the NFL right now, if you go by quarterback compensations, and this is a little bit of a talk for the Eagles, and by all means, you know, Eagles, don't listen to me. I don't know shit. But here's what's crazy. When you look at the list of quarterbacks right now in compensation, because you always hear, you know, um, Skip Bayless talking about, you know, Dak Prescott got $78 million that first year and this, that, and the other, like it was the cap hit. But that's not the case. Um, But be that as it may, as we look at the quarterbacks that are paid above Dak Prescott and the quarterbacks that have gotten paid since Dak Prescott, you look at this and all of a sudden you say, hmm, because let's go through these. Uh, let's get this out the way. Derek Carr. Derek Carr right now. Let me move something over here. Sorry. Derek Carr is paid $40.5 million a year. And if you look down at the numbers here, he's kind of gone a little bit downhill. And we're talking about a guy who just got Forty and a half million a year. Their team's got three wins so far this year. Not real good. In fact, if you go through the ten highest paid quarterbacks, only four of them have a winning record. Let's get rid of Derek Carr because this is what's kind of interesting. If we take Josh Allen, Josh Allen, I'm not arguing with the Bills. They are one of the best teams of football. But Josh Allen, since he got his contract extension where he is um, right now at $43 million, he has kind of come downhill. Right now he already has 11 interceptions this year and three fumbles. He's actually playing kind of like Carson Wentz there. Um, last year he had 15 interceptions. The year before he had gotten his contract, he only had 10. Um, he'll probably get about 30 TD passes or 32 maybe, but definitely has come down since his big contract. Pat Mahomes, um, even Pat Mahomes has kind of come down to earth a little bit. He'll probably end up having the 38-plus TD since he got his contract. Um, But you see him with more interceptions than usual. He already has eight interceptions this year and 13 last year after never having more than 12 and the other two years having six and five. So kind of, in a way, not quite as good as he was. Um, Deshaun Watson, who's getting $46 million, he's just getting on the field this week. And then we have Kyler Murray, who's getting $46 million. Kyler Murray is so bad this year. Kyler Murray, you look at it and you say, he's regressed. Hmm. Then you got Russell Wilson. Do do I need to say anything about Russell Wilson? Russell Wilson has literally dropped off the face of the earth. Carson Wentz has more TD passes than Russell Wilson and hasn't played in six weeks. Russell Wilson has eight TDs and five interceptions and has it, wait for it, $49 million a year. $49 million a year. Yeah. With $124 million guaranteed. Ouch. And then there's Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers, who I know he's been a two-time MVP back-to-back. Um, this season, it's just been bad. And again, after the 48 TDs, 9.1 yards uh, per pass, dropped off a little bit last year. Still was MVP. Um, Mind you, 37 TD passes were the same as Pat Mahomes and Dak Prescott last year. Um, But this year, having nine interceptions, that is the most since 2010 for him. And you look at that and say, he might not be back. So of all the quarterbacks that are paid $40 or more, the only ones with a winning record right now are Pat Mahomes, Josh Allen, Dak Prescott, and, uh, well, actually, Kirk Cousins is a $40 million one. So, actually, it's only three. But you could say Kirk Cousins is the 10th highest paid one. Um, 
Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. And I'm going to just say that now we're talking about paying Jalen Hurts 50 plus million a year. Dax deal is sounding better and better by the minute. Alrighty, good people. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.